is PayPal planning to find its users? Hi again everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So on Friday, after the market closed, PayPal was subjected to a document leak which is sure to have ramifications on their stock, ticker symbol PYPL, when markets open on Monday. Basically, it was a memo that was scheduled to be released based on the dating of a letter, the 3rd of November, and it was to do with the company's acceptable use policy. Buried in this was a detail that PayPal would find people who breached the policy by as much as $2,500 per instance of a breach. What would you be doing if you were considered to breaching it? Well, according to the leaked document, you are independently responsible for complying with all applicable laws in all of your actions related to your use of PayPal services, regardless of the purpose of the use. The leaking of this update to the acceptable use policy has whipped up a storm on social media with former founders of PayPal, David Marcus and Elon Musk, speaking out against the leaked document on Twitter. David Marcus posted on October 9, it's hard for me to openly criticize a company I used to love and gave so much to, but PayPal's new AUP goes against everything I believe in. A private company now gets to decide to take the money if you say something they disagree with. Insanity. To which Elon Musk replied, agreed. There has been much said across the weekend on social media around this issue. PayPal did eventually issue further information to the publication, The Street describing the leaked letter as a mistake. Just reading from the article, contacted by The Street, PayPal said it was an error. An AUP acceptable use policy notice recently went out in error that included incorrect information, a PayPal spokesperson said in an emailed statement. PayPal is not finding people for misinformation and the language was never intended to be inserted in our policy. Our teams are working to correct our policy pages. PayPal thus finds itself in damage control. We're sorry for the confusion that has been caused, the spokesperson added. So while this appears to be evidence that the PR machine at PayPal is working overtime to clear the matter up, it will be interesting to see how the market reacts on Monday. Generally speaking, it has not been a great year for PayPal, having shed almost 54% year to date and as much as 65% if we stretch back the stock's progress over the past 12 months. PayPal's spectacular fall has been synonymous with the broader tech sector and subsector of fintech stocks that have sold off en masse around the globe due to the declining macro environment. While PayPal has backed away from the leaked memo, when you consider that they have attached part of their operations to the crypto scene and as a result, the emerging legal landscape around these entities, perhaps the intention of the memo may have been aimed at discouraging users from engaging in illegal activities that use these crypto mediums of exchange to help ensure that PayPal is meeting its legal obligations in preventing crimes such as money laundering and organized crime. It's a pretty common thing for many big banking and finance entities to have to do this. But when a private company is paying or even considering giving itself the power to impose and collect fines from its user base, you have to ask yourself, who are the real criminals in all this? Anyway, despite PayPal doing their best to alleviate the anxiety of users and investors that what was detailed in the memo is not going to occur, I feel they are sure to really feel a shake from the market during Monday's trade. Anyway, that's about all I'm going to cover in this video. Just a quick one. PayPal stock is definitely going to be one to watch on Monday. I have a feeling that this latest saga is going to be one that spells that they are in for a tough time over all of this. What are your thoughts on the whole saga? Is it going to spell more pain for the share price? Do you think that the memo was indeed an error from PayPal or are we seeing a very public backtracking on what their intentions truly were given the nature of their services? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Till next time, everyone, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.